Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alan the Lame Gamer and welcome to Final Fantasy 7. Now this game has a very special place in my heart. I played this game when I was young, came out and I was new to the Final Fantasy franchise and the world of RPGs. I played a few on the Super Nintendo, but then, but then I played this. And my eyes were opened forever. And you know what? Since they just announced that they were going to be re-releasing Final Fantasy VII on the PlayStation 4 as a remake, I decided what better to do than while they're doing that to play Final Fantasy VII for you guys. So I hope you're going to enjoy this video as much as I'm going to enjoy making them and playing this game. Definitely you can pick it up on Steam or find a PlayStation copy and slap it in your PlayStation or PS2 or play it on Steam and enjoy it. You can also buy it on the PlayStation 3 network and the PlayStation 4 network. There are so many different ways to play this game and I recommend you try to play it every single way. Now there are some people who don't enjoy Final Fantasy 7 as much and to those people I say boo. I think this is one of the greatest games ever made. Um, yes, the story is heavy, hard is heavy-handed, and there's a lot of a lot of overtones about the world and things like that. Pardon me as I adjust my microphone. There's a lot of overtones about pollution and things like that. So if you're not into that kind of thing, or if you're not into, if you're just not into a game kind of preaching at you. You may not enjoy the game as much, but it is still a fantastic experience and it's one of those easier RPGs to get into, but it is still an RPG, so there's going to be a lot of battles and there's going to be a lot of fun. And I'm going to leave everything in. I don't want to I'm not going to move anything out and goddamn, I remember this. I remember this I remember seeing this for the first time and it may sound weird, but back when this game came out in 1997, 1996, 1997, this looked awesome compared to what we were used to, because the original, the last game before this was Final Fantasy VI, which was for the Super Nintendo. Alright, we need to go into our menu, and change, um, battle speed is fast, field message, good, good, alright, and, okay, so we touch this guy, we get a potion. And we're gonna have a battle, but hopefully turning up the battle speed will speed through this here. And our name is X Soldier. You know, this game does look a little bit better on the PC than it does on the original PlayStation. I'm playing it on the PC just for the convenience of easily recording it, and it's a pain in the ass for me to hook up my original PlayStation to record and things like that, so I figure you know what? I've got a system. I've got my computer. I've got it on Steam anyway. I've had it for about a year since it came out. Um, so we're good here. Oh, I got an achievement. Cool. Alright. Okay, so just break some things down real quick. So this is our character. We're ex-soldier. We have magic. We have item. We have equip. Here we would have another option that we'll learn about later. And then we have some other options. So you know what? I think I'll show you those other options when we actually get them here. I will try to explain the game, but I won't be doing like an H.C. Bailey run, where uh, if you guys don't know who H.C. Bailey is, you should definitely check him out. He's one of the greatest YouTubers I've seen. He's actually one of the reasons that got me into doing games and playing them here. Also, I don't apologize if you're not paying attention to the text. What should our name be? Our name is going to be... Our name is going to be Dick. Oh, it's so weird not having having to use a joystick for this because it, it works on a grid, not a uh, okay Dick Butt. Dick Butt, eh? I'm. Doesn't matter what your name is. He's the rock. If you guys pay attention, there's actually some curse words in this game. 
But this, this game was fun. This game was awesome when I first played it in Ex-Soldier Don't Trust You. Your name's Barrett. I'll leave your name the same way here. Yeah, okay. And transition. Yeah, the models, I mean, the models look smoother. I will say that for the, um, compared to the PlayStation version. And yeah, you kind of still move on a grid, um, so it's it's a little hard to get used to compared to like the games that you know you may play now. But no big deal. Random battles. And I think compared to Final Fantasy 13, I think this is. I mean, Final Fantasy 13 to me was one of the worst games in the franchise, if not the worst. Um, and, I, and to me, Final Fantasy XIII encompasses all of the other games that came with it. So Final Fantasy XIII, Final Fantasy XIII II, and then Final Fantasy XIII Lightning's Return or whatever. They're all the same goddamn game, and it, I, I didn't enjoy them at all. I didn't think it was very hard or difficult. I mean, it was a gor they were gorgeous. They were beautiful-looking games. But, I mean, when I play a Final Fantasy game, I like to be able to explore. That's what I really liked about this game as well, because it was so open-ended. Now, Final Fantasy games have been open-ended before, but not in 3D. Like I said, Final Fantasy VI, which in America was Final Fantasy III, that was the game that came out before this one, back in 1995. And then, two years later, America, we saw this, and this game was just out of this world compared to Final Fantasy VI. And I will be referring to it as Final Fantasy VI, because that's what it is. I do want to let this episode drag on a little bit longer than a normal episode because it is the beginning. We'll go over here and get a treasure. Probably going to be a lot of me running around in circles doing things. Um, treasures. Phonics down. That's how I used to pronounce it. I now know it's Phoenix. I was an idiot when I was a child. God, I love the music. I'm excited to see what they're going to do with the music in the Final Fantasy PlayStation 4 Remake. Look at her mouth wide open, just stick my dick right in it. Uh. And here's where the game starts to get to the point where it's, uh... Basically, you know, global warming, planets dying, blah blah blah. Really preachy, but still a good type, um... Still a pretty good, you know, premise. You know, I do believe that the planet is one of the most important things that we have, but I mean, I'm not going to preach to you guys. I don't recycle or anything like that either, um, but still, I think we should actively look for renewable sources of energy. Um, but that's all I'm going to say about that for now. See, now that they're making uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake, what I'm hoping they'll do is make Chrono Cross a remake, because Chrono Cross was one of my favorite goddamn games of all time. I think I enjoyed Chrono Cross better than Final Fantasy VII. Um, you know, I think, yeah, I definitely think I did. I, I think Chrono Cross was better to me. Um, I'd like to see a Steam release, so, you know, Square, if you're paying attention, release Chrono Cross on Steam. That would be sweet. <laughs> Okay, so here we can kind of demonstrate something uh, really quickly. So, um, Cloud is a physical fighter, Barrett is not. So, Barrett is a long range. So, he, this guy back here, he's in the back row. So, Barrett's damage will be the same no matter if he's hitting somebody in the back row or in the front row, as opposed to Cloud, will the damage will be slightly less. So, if you have a melee fighter, and somebody's in the back row, it's best to not hit them with your physical attack. Magic is exactly the same. Um, now there is, uh, items, uh, materia is how, what they're called. There is materia that makes it just negates either way. Um, so if you have, because Barrett is one of the only melee people, um, actually besides Yuffie, um, oh, well, you know what, let's just... I'm not gonna talk about him anymore. Um, basically, I just want the. I know that a lot of you have probably played this game before. Probably nothing is gonna be a surprise. But for the for the few of you who have not played Final Fantasy VII, I don't want to ruin it. So, you know, come on this journey with me. 
I went the wrong way. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. Once we get down to the safe point, I think it's a great place to stop. Um, uh, one enemy. Oh, three. Okay. So, here's where we can actually show off, because this is a mechanical guy. So, we're going to attack him with our bolt, which is lightning magic. And now he's dead. So magic is pretty overpowered in the beginning of the game, um, but we don't want to use it. There's no point. These enemies are not dangerous at all. Don't really care. You know, yeah, this game looks a lot better on Steam than it does. I mean, the textures are just clearer. I mean, it's way farther from being an HD re-release like uh, we've all been wanting. Um, Dick Butt has a limit break. Excellent. And fun, you know, Sony saying at E3 that they're gonna make fun, that they they're making Final Fantasy VII as a remake is probably one of the greatest things that I heard, and I was so excited. I mean, I finally have a reason to play my PlayStation 4, and definitely I'm glad that it's gonna be a game like that that is going to make me want to play it. So, all right, well we're gonna save our game here. Select a save file. Okay, cool. So we're going to save the game. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode, and I hope you guys are going to enjoy the series. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment, share it with somebody you think is going to enjoy it, and thanks for watching, and as always, have a great day. Bye-bye.